I thought I would preface this because I know there's a lot of crap going on outside in the world right now. And maybe a backpack review is not really something to put out there right now. But then I thought maybe if this can distract you for 13 minutes, then that's something that's okay, right? So I hope you enjoy. Be safe. Love you. What's up? I'm back. You're back. We're back here together. Thanks for being here. I'm JLo. This is Highs with Lo, my channel where I go out and do stuff, come back and tell you about it. If that appeals to you, think about subscribing, maybe. Maybe. That'd be great. I would love it. I really would. I am here today because I'm, I'm pretty excited about this. I, uh, I, got, I got two Topo Designs backpacks and I've been tooling about on this one. I didn't do like the traditional unbagging unboxing. I started using it because my camera wasn't set up. And I gotta say, I really, I really like it. Hey, I'm noticing here. Ah, we'll get to that in a sec. So, this is the Topo Designs, what is it called officially? Um, day pack. Topo Designs Day Pack. All right, obviously this one's in black and this one's kind of in this, um, what is that called? Orangish, burnt umberish, oh, yellow. So I got these things <clears throat> and they're typically a hundred bucks. And I think I got it, I got two for a hundred bucks, something like, something crazy like that. Because in this time that we're in, there's a lot of sales. I don't know if you guys have been out there checking out all the sales, but it's pretty, pretty intense. Yeah, there's my banana shirt, unironed, my quarantine hair, don't cur, and it's all just, you know, we can say, we can always preface everything by saying, oh, in these crazy times, right? In these weird times. Anyway, let's get into the bag, shall we? Because that's what we're here for today. That's what we're doing. This one, Obviously, it's black. It's smaller than my typical bags. I'm gonna say that straight up. I usually like a 28 liter bag for my everyday carry, go to work, tool around in EDC stuff, because I, I carry a decent amount of stuff on the day to day. Uh, but this, it's maybe a believer in the smaller pack. I believe they call this one, Topa Designs calls this like 16 liters, which to me, that's tiny. It's not but it gets a decent amount of stuff in it, as you'll see. So, first off, first impression, it feels freaking great. The material is fantastic. And this is like a super quality bag. Like, you're, you might be like, why do I need a bag like that, Jason? Um, why don't I just use my Jansport or my East Pack, you know? This feels so much better. The, this, this material here is light years better than the other stuff that you get in a Jansport bag. This is this feels like it's gonna last forever. When you touch it, you're like, man. So look at that. Look at that. You see that? It's it's thicker and nicer than other bags I have. Straight legit. Um, it's got this reinforced leather bottom here. This one, this one, it's made in the USA. And it just, you know, it just says Cordura right there. So I think I got a deal on this one. This one's a made in USA Cordura with cool leather bottom for a half price. So I would, I would pay a hundred dollars for this all day. This thing's fantastic. So that's, that's my take on how it feels with this Cordura fabric. I have another, let me get it. I was gonna say, I was gonna say, this is my other Topo Designs bag, which I really like. It's become like my pretty top three go-to EDC carry bags, especially if I want to do something like um, a briefcase carry, which this thing does fantastically. So it's the same Cordura, but somehow this one feels better. It feels like thicker. I don't know what it is. This one has this, maybe the same Cordura here on the front pockets, but the rest of it's not. 
But I do like this. I do like this Topa Designs bag too. It's in my best bags of 2020 uh, video that you could check out. Right there. Anyway, let's go back to this one. It's got this little lash point here. I, I, I would never, I don't think I would use this. But, well, maybe, maybe I would. I could put a lock in there or something or a reflector. This thing, I don't know what I would use this for either. Same thing, maybe lock or ref reflector. And then there's no water bottle pocket. And that's something I really like to have in my bags. This one doesn't have it, and that's okay. Man, I'm getting a little sweaty. Excuse me. I'm getting a little verklempt. Oh, I'm a little verklempt. Top handle here, nothing to write home about. Wanna check that out? Top handle here, it's just webbing. That's it, there's no padding there. They could have given you a nice little padding. That would have been cool. Um, on the sides, they do have these side pouches, but they're really tight. I, I can't get much in there. I didn't use, I haven't used them at all. I haven't used this at all. Nothing, nothing. I can't get anything in there. Same thing on this other side. It's very tight, especially if you have the bag packed out. You're not gonna get much in there. It's re really snug, almost unusable. The straps are pretty comfortable. They're not the most comfortable pa uh, backpack straps I've used. They're pretty comfortable. No sturdle belt, no hip belt. No load lifters. It's a smaller bag and they can probably get away with not having those extra weight distribution items on there. That's probably okay. Uh, they could have been a little nicer. They're a little thin to me. They, they dig in a little bit, a little. The padding on the back also isn't super, but that's just my body type. It's like someone who's slightly taller, slightly shorter is gonna fit this a little bit differently. I like to snug it up. Like this, see that? And it, it, it bumps in right here a little bit. It's like this edge catches here a little bit. But it's, it's overall pretty comfortable. I rode it like, I rode it 10 miles today skateboarding with no issue outside. So it did get sweaty though, cause there's no ventilation. There's no ridges, there's no padding for ventilation here. I still like the bag, despite all these things I'm saying about it. Moving around here. Okay, front pouch right here. Huge, lovely, lovely YKK zipper. It's not AquaGuard, but it has this flap over here and has these pulls to help you open and close it really easily. But look at this, it's like butter. Forget about it. What do I got in there? I got charging brick. I got 360 camera, thermometer tripod, medical stuff, and that's it. Nice, roomy, I like it, works. That's it, okay? And then finally, main compartment. Double zipped, which I like. You have to have a main compartment with zippers all around. YKK, nice pulls, love the pulls. Smooth acting, doesn't open all the way, but it opens enough that you can get good access to the stuff inside. The Bluetooth speaker. Mask, stethoscope, snacks, snacks, snacks. I, I, I gotta have snacks. And then, have another mask, and that's it. That's what it looks like inside. It's a decent size. You can get, I could still get a jacket in there if I needed, if I needed to. And then has some organization here in the back, which I never use. I don't use a lot of organization in my in my bags. You could put some, I don't know, pens in there, I suppose. It's not, it doesn't go all the way down, look. It goes that, that deep. And then you could, I don't know, stick some stuff in there, I guess. And the laptop, finally the laptop. So it doesn't go all the way to the bottom, but it's close. So you could thunk down your backpack a little bit and your laptop will get thunked with it. Comes out like that. Easily fits. It's not padded here. There's no padding here in the front. So, man, I've said all these negative kind of things about it, but I still, why do I like it? I like the size, I guess. And I like, I like the feel of the Cordura. It feels fantastic. It feels like a quality bag. It's pretty darn comfortable. Not the most comfortable, but it's pretty comfortable. And 
Yeah, I, 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 I'm gonna be using it unless, unless I have to carry something bigger to fit more stuff. I think I'm using this. Oh, I had my water, shoot, I forgot my water bottle. It, I went inside, it can go inside. My water bottle has to go inside there. And that's okay. I don't love it. I don't, I don't love having to put my water bottle inside. But I think overall for the price I paid for this thing and the, the feel of it, I like it. I'm gonna be using it. It's supplanting, so my current favorites are my the Brown Buffalo Conceal. It's a great bag, love the organization, nice. And I love my Alchemy Equipment Carryology 0222. It's a great bag. And then that Topo Designs, this thing, it's great, love it. So I guess I'm a Topo Designs fan and I didn't think I would be because I don't really love their, their crazy color aesthetic, says the guy in the banana shirt. Peanut butter, peanut butter. jelly time, peanut butter jelly um, time. Yeah, but I, I like it. Now, what do I do with this? So, here's something to know. This one, different colorway, and it's not Cordura, and it's not made in the USA. It says made in Vietnam, and there's no leather. So, and maybe I snuck this one in. Like, usually you pay a markup if something's made in the United States and has leather and it's Cordura, right? So this one, not, not, I didn't open it, obviously, but it has some obvious things that are different than this one. I think that's it. You know, maybe I'll give this away. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna give it away when I hit 500, because I still think it's a really nice look. I was thinking of giving it to my niece, because she could use it for school, but kids aren't even going to school anymore. So, when I hit 500, 500, I'm gonna give it away to a viewer. Be great, be cool, be fun, right? I have a lot of bags I need to, I, I can't be storing these things everywhere, it's ridiculous. Anyway, I think that's it. Try not to watch too many videos. Everyone's always talking about Netflix and all the stuff that they're watching and I, I try not to. I, I don't really know too many shows. I did watch the, uh, the <laughs> The Tiger King, I did watch that. Just, I had to bow under the peer pressure. But try to go out and do stuff. Learn some new things. I'm trying to learn Russian. Um, Privyet. Uh, and I'm trying to learn stock market and options trading. I'm doing okay, actually. And I've been writing some papers. I mean, you could, you could turn this extra time that we've all been given into something, right? So go out and do that. Plan stuff to do after, because flights are cheap, travel is cheap right now. And then think about coming back and telling us all about it, because I still think that's what it's about. Go out there, do stuff cool, fun, interesting, inspiring, and come back and tell people about it. All right? Would love it if you subscribe. I'll mention it again. And that's it, JLo out.